Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try the Stouffer's Bowlfuls. This one is the Queso Chicken Burrito Bowl. It's tender grilled chicken, peppers, corn, tomatoes, black beans, and rice in a creamy queso sauce. Um, it says it's 23 grams of protein made with white meat chicken. This is new, new, new. Can you tell it's new? New, new. Uh, we bought this at Kroger. It was $3.99. And thank you, Tyler, for letting us know it was out there. Really appreciate it. Now let's see. Uh, 440 calories, and I can tell you it's a pretty good sized bowl. It's uh, 13 and a half ounces or 382 grams. It's heavy. Um, and for 440 calories, it seems like a lot, but it's it seems pretty like you get a lot. Uh, there's the other info for you. So let's see. I don't see oven directions. So it must, yeah, microwave only. So we're going to remove the bowl from the box. Um, so it doesn't sound like we vented or anything. Um, cook for three and a half minutes. We're going to remove the film and stir. Recover. Okay, so don't take it completely off. Just pull it back, stir it up, recover it, and then cook again for another two minutes on high and let it stand for one minute. So three and a half, stir it, and two. And don't pull the cover off. <laughs> so three ninety nine for... That's a pretty good size uh, meal. It's, it's You can see it's a lot of rice, though. But... Um, yeah, it looks like it's got quite a bit of corn and peppers and a little bit of chicken in there. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And uh, it did. I did let it set for a minute after it got done. It looks like the cheese, the queso, is really uh, pretty much coated everything. It was it was kind of clumped up in the kind of the corner. So I made sure I stirred it in really good. And then when it's microwave more, it kind of, kind of spread everywhere. You get plenty of corn. You get plenty of peppers. There's some chicken here and there. I did try to cut the chicken up while when I stirred it the first time uh, into smaller pieces just to get more bites of it, really more than anything. Because um, there's not a ton of chicken in here, but there are a few pieces here and there. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and uh, I'll be back. All right, I didn't give it any time to cool off. I literally just sit down and, uh, and hit record. So we'll, we'll see. Let me try to get some black beans. I'm sure it's still very hot. Um, I, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be just a slightly spicy uh, flavor. That it's gonna be not like burn your tongue or anything, but it's gonna be a little spicy just because I can I can smell the spices in it. There's no heat meter or anything on the box, so it shouldn't be uh, ridiculously hot. Good and heat hot. That's good for sure. So a good layer of a good level of heat even after it's set for the. The minute after you let it set. Not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to have a little spice to it, but it really doesn't. I love the texture of the rice. The rice is cooked really, really well. It's nice and um, tender, but you still, um, the individual pieces of rice are really good and not stuck together or clumped up or mushy or anything like that. Um, but it's still very well cooked, so I like that. I also like it that you get the queso in everything. Uh, the queso really is spread uh, really well. I'm going to get a bite that's got some of the green and the red. I'm assuming the green is a pepper. Um, I want to see if that adds any spice to it. It just says peppers. It doesn't say um, what kind of peppers. I get the texture of the pepper, but I don't really get... The green ones almost look like they'd be jalapenos, but I don't think they are. I think they're just green peppers and red peppers, um, like bell peppers, are, are really low heat uh, pepper because I don't get any spice from it. I also like it that the texture of the black beans, they're very well cooked so they're soft. Almost if you eat, um, if you eat soup beans or something like that, you know, as in the south we eat soup beans, um, pinto beans, they're cooked about that texture. They're not mushy. Um, they've got some texture to them still, but they're not hard. Um, a lot of these frozen meals, they like to put these black beans in there, but they're hard. I've had restaurants that had black beans in their stuff and the beans are just hard. It's like, who wants a, who wants to eat a hard bean? I don't personally, and I'm sure other people don't either. I know there's people out there that probably love a good hard black bean, but not me. I, I like mine mushy a little bit more soft, not mushy. I like the textures. I didn't talk about the chicken. The chicken has a nice texture too. It's not dry. Yeah, it's good and tender. 
everything's cooked really, really well. So texture wise, it's really nice. It's not, um, I'm glad the rice is cooked well and it's not sticky or anything. That way you're not just getting a bowl full of mushy texture. It's nothing like that. It actually has some texture to it. And, um, and the rice texture is really nice going along with everything else. It goes really well together. Um, so texture, it's spot on. The, uh, the flavor wise, you really just get the pepper kind of flavor. So you get, I get a little bit of a cheese flavor. Um, not a lot, but I do get a little bit of a queso flavor, but I mostly get like a peppery kind of spice, like peppers spice. It's not like burn your tongue. I mean, some people might not be able to eat it because there is this, uh, very, very faint tingle on the back of my tongue and maybe even on the sides of my tongue a little bit, but it's nothing bad. I don't think it's bad at all. And I'm not, I don't love hot food. I can eat hot food, but I don't love hot food. This is no problem for me. It's, it's very, very little. I've had barbecue chips that were hotter than this. Let's put it that way. Um, but you get that pepper kind of flavor to it. That's mostly what you taste is peppers. I really wish for a queso, I really wish the cheese flavor came out a little bit more. Um, when you get chicken, by the way, you can taste the chicken. The chicken has, you know, a decent flavor to it. But yeah, it's mostly peppers and, um, and just a hint of cheese. Uh, that's probably why I won't give it a super high rating because it needed a lot more of a cheese flavor. Um, but that being, because there's some really good queso dips out there that are super, super cheesy. Uh, this is just not one of them. It just doesn't have a strong uh, cheese flavor. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of four, out of five. I mean, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. It's definitely better than average. The textures, like I said, are spot on, but the flavors could be developed a little bit more to give you more than just peppers and slight cheese. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.